In five minutes, I'm going to share with you how to properly break down a Bible verse, and we are going to start right now. Now, the passage of scripture that we are going to be breaking down today is actually Psalms chapter 23, verses 1, and it says this, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, when breaking down a passage of scripture, you want to get the gist of what the context actually is. So, for example, you want to know who is the person writing the actual text. You also want to know to whom is the text being written to and who is the text actually about. So that is very, very critical when it comes down to biblical interpretation. Now, let's dive into this actual passage. So what you want to do is you want to value every single word of scripture. So what you'll see here is the Lord. So what I do when I actually study a passage of scripture, I actually dig into something called the strong concordance. What you want to do is you want to actually dig up the actual root word of what you are actually reading. So for example, when it comes down to Psalms chapter 23 verses 1, the writer starts off by saying the Lord. Now the question is, who is the Lord? So using the strong concordance, you can actually find out of whom this Lord actually is. What you want to do is you want to dive deep into the attributes and the characteristics of this Lord because this is to whom this person is writing to, this person here being King David. What you would find is the more that you learn about God's attributes is the more you'll be secured in Him. So David says the Lord, this Lord, the Eternal One, is mine. Now this is very important when it comes down to actually breaking down a passage of Scripture. Because what David is doing here is he is actually attributing this Lord to being his. So the question for you is, how does this apply to you? Could this Lord be yours? And obviously, yes, the answer is yes. As you study the Bible, God desires to have a relationship with us. And this is how we commune with him. So the reality is that, yes, God is yours. So this God, with these characteristics, with all these attributes, everything in regards to his actual person belongs to you. And David goes on to say, is my shepherd. So what he's basically saying is, this Lord, the eternal one, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who is loving, who is faithful, who is just, who is merciful, who is forgiving, is my shepherd. Now, what you want to do is you want to actually study the word shepherd and what it actually means. So what you'll find is that a shepherd is one who leads the sheep, he provides for the sheep, he protects the sheep, and he owns the sheep. So those are just a few key characteristics in regards to what a shepherd actually is. Now, we know that that is the duty of a shepherd. Therefore, because he is our shepherd, as David is saying here in this text, we are his sheep. So you want to actually study what a sheep actually is. What we know about sheep is that sheep are dependable, they are vulnerable, they are unwise on their own, and they need direction. So what you want to do is you want to actually make a list. Like this is actually a very cool way of going about studying the scriptures. Make a list of the shepherd, his characteristics, a sheep. The, the characteristics of a sheep. Properly define these characteristics and these attributes and that will bring much more fruitfulness to your actual reading of a passage because what you will see is, wow, now I could see why David would actually say this, that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. How can I be in any want of anything else knowing that my shepherd is the eternal God and he is forever loving, faithful, merciful, gracious, and I need that. And that's all I need. And when you see this passage and you continue to read the other verses, what you will basically see is the other verses are built upon this particular passage in regards to the relationship between shepherd and sheep. So my prayer right now is that this word may have been of great help for each and every one of you who struggle with understanding how to properly dive into a passage and get the most out of it. If you are looking for a place where you could grow and enhance your relationship with Jesus Christ, whether you're struggling in your faith or you're just new in your faith, make sure to subscribe to Aim High with Mike and Emma. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our playlist. Once again, you already know it's all love. Until next time, peace.